Welcome to my channel folks. In today's video, we are going to see a newly launched feature by Amazon. This is called the CloudFormation Configuration Drift. Think of a scenario where you are writing a lot of templates and deploying into your environment. And sometimes there might be an emergency change or a junior resource will go ahead and update the resource directly without updating through the template. So what happens is your template has X configuration and your resource has Y configuration and there is a small change between these two and it becomes very difficult to manage the environment at this point because CloudFormation at this moment will not allow you to make any changes to the template and deploy it because the resource has been modified. So until recently without the drift feature it was difficult. So with the drift feature what you can do is you can identify what is this change and incorporate that change into your template and bring that resource back into the templates control and go ahead and manage them under the template itself. So let us go ahead and see how you can make use of this feature. The other interesting thing about this feature is you can run this on a periodic, a periodic schedule so that you can trigger an SNS notification or a Lambda notification to the owner of that resource or to the person who modified the change saying that they have made some changes. So the configuration drift feature has been nicely integrated into the notification service as well as the uh, Lambda services. So you can use that to automate your environment management purposes. So let us go ahead and see how we can do this in the console itself. Here we are in the CloudFormation console. So as of now, I don't have any stack which will help us to identify the drift easily. So we are going to quickly launch an EC2 instance and try to make some changes and see how we uh, find out the drift and how we can incorporate that drift into the template itself. So I'm going to pick up the default template that Amazon gives for uh, sample purposes. I'm just going to copy it. This Remember this is a JSON template and let us go ahead and create a stack and create it in the designer. So I'm just going to validate it. Okay, all good here. I'm just going to call this template as config drift check stack. The key next and this is going to be just be a quick test. So let us use all the default values here. Nothing to be changed. Click on create stack and it is going to take a minute for the stack to deploy. So we are almost there, the event creation is in progress. Let us go to our EC2 instance and see our instance has been created. You can see here there is an instance that is running and if I see there, there is an outbound rule and uh, I'm an inbound rule and also an outbound rule. So this is the thing that we are going to change in a short while. Let us go ahead and see whether it has completed its process. So we can see here the stack has been completed. If I go to stack info, you can see here the drift status is not checked. So you have two ways to check the drifts. You can go to actions and click on detect drift or you can go here on the left hand side you see drifts and it will take you to the same page and let us go ahead and see detect the drift. So it is going to run the validation check. It takes the template and verifies it with the resources that has been already configured and everything is fine. Then you will find a message which says that everything is in sync. So what we are going to do now is we are going to quickly go ahead and update our security group. I'm just going to add one more rule which is HTTPS and I'm just going to say open to the world. So click on save. So now I would modify the security group and if I go back to my cloud formation template and click on detect drift, it is going to do the same checks that it did some time back and we will find that it has drifted or uh, it has been modified. You will find some message here which is no longer in sync. So you can see here it says it is modified. So if you want to know what has been modified, select this one and click on view drift details. And if you notice here, it says that there is a new security group rule that has been attached. So now we know that uh, how to identify a drift that has happened in the environment and exactly find out what is the change that has happened in the environment. Suppose say you want to incorporate this change into the template itself. How will you do that? That's what I'm going to show you now. You can use the update stack option. So I'm just going to copy this change that has happened already. So let us copy that and go back to stacks. I'm just going to search for the stack that we just now created. Yep, this is the one. And if you're under actions, you'll find there is an update stack option. And under edit designer, let us go to the designer and change this one. I'm going to make the screen a little bigger. So here you find the security group here. This is the properties that we have changed. Now as of now there is only one rule and I'm just going to paste the code that we just picked up from there. And these are the two rules. Let us validate it and it seems to be good. So let us go ahead and deploy the stack now.
So the update is in progress as you can see here. Let's just wait until it has its process. You can see here the update process has been completed. Now what has happened is we have taken the change that was done outside the template and incorporated into our template also. So let us go to our drifts now and go ahead and do a detect dr stack drift. And you can see here already it says in sync, but let us go ahead and verify that as well. I'm just going to verify it. And then if I go to drift status, there is no drift. So you can see here all the changes has been incorporated. Even if we let us go ahead and open the stack template itself. Just going to template section. And if we scroll down all the way to the security group section, you will find both the security group rules. So that is how you identify a drift that has happened into your template. And if that drift is necessary, then you can incorporate it into your template itself. So the resources are still managed through your infrastructure as code process. I hope you enjoy this video and you will enjoy using this feature as much as I do in my environments. We have already started deploying this change throughout our environments. Go ahead and try it out. If you have any problems, put them in the comment section. If you have a better way of doing it, share it with us so we all can learn from each other. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.